Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be studying about the sliding window protocol. So the sliding window protocol is a uh, another form of data link layer protocol and coincidentally it is also used at the transport layer. So before this we have studied about the stop and wait protocol and this is the second type of protocol that we are studying. So sliding window protocols are used in the data link layer as well as in the transport layer. So this is one important point that you need to remember. After this, you need to know that sliding window protocol, protocols are named so because in this, the sender can send multiple frames without waiting for the receiver to give any particular feedback. So in stop and wait, we studied that the sender sends one frame and then waits for the acknowledgement from the receiver. But in this scenario, the sender can send multiple frames at one time before receiving the first acknowledgement. So re before receiving the acknowledgement for them. So if the sender decides to send frame number one, then he can also send frame number two before he gets the acknowledgement for frame number one. Then the receiver will combine the acknowledgements for frame zero and for frame one and combined acknowledgement will be sent to the sender. Now in this protocol, the sliding window protocol, each sender and the receiver, both of them maintain their own windows. So what is a window? A window is a set of sequence numbers. Okay. Sequence numbers are the numbers that are assigned to each part of the data that is to be transmitted. So window is a set of sequence numbers. Now the sending window is the set of sequence numbers or the set of frames that the sender is allowed to send. If we talk about the data link layer where the sending win sliding window protocol is being utilized, then in that case, the sending window will consist of all those frames that can be sent by the sender before waiting or stopping to get the acknowledgement from the receiver. So frames that can be sent by the sender before waiting for an ACK or acknowledgement. Whereas receiving window will consist of all those frame or frame numbers that can be accepted by the receiver, that can be accepted by the receiver, okay? So the receiving window, if it contains five different frame numbers, then the receiver will only accept one of those frame numbers. If any frame arrives which has a sequence numbers outside those five values, then the receiver will clearly and directly discard it. Okay, so this is an important point that sending window will only consist of the frames that the sender is allowed to send and receiving window will consist of all those frames that the receiver will be able to accept from the sender. Now what is the size of the window? So the size of the window or the length of the window at both ends is determined and is related to the sequence numbers. So if there are n bit sequence numbers then the total size or the maximum size of the window will be 2 raised to the power n. Say if we have 2 bit sequence numbers here the value of n becomes 2 then the total possible combinations using 2 bits are 2 raised to power 2 which is 4 and these combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1. So in this scenario how many unique frame numbers are possible? 0, 1, 2 and 3. So the frame numbers will go from 0 to 2 raised to power n minus 1. Whereas the total length or size of the window would be 2 raised to the power n. Okay. Now let's take an example of how the sliding window protocol actually works. Now in this example we have a sender and a receiver. At both the ends, the size of the window is 
4 that means the maximum size of the window or the length of the window is 4 that means these frame numbers can be sent by the sender this is the sender side and this is the receiver side so the receiver can also receive the frames which are present in the window in its receiving window and the sender can send these frames now when the sender is allowed to send these frames it starts from the very beginning and starts sending frame say for example the sender sends frame 1 and frame 2 that means frame with the sequence number 0 and frame with the sequence number 1 then in this case how will this window change initially the receiving window was ready to accept frame number 0 and frame numbers 1 so now also the receiver has received frame number 0 and frame number 1 so it can move its window two steps ahead because it has already received two frames that it was expecting and now this window of the receiver will have these frame numbers so at every in iteration or every time the receiver receives a particular frame number which it was expecting it slides its window to the right hence giving the name to this protocol as the sliding window protocol okay so now the receiver will accept frame numbers which are lying in its new window which is 2 3 0 and 1 now since the receiver has received two frames correctly it will send back the acknowledgement to the sender and the acknowledgement will have a sequence number 2 now why 2 this is a very important point why the acknowledgement number will be 2 because it means that the receiver is now expecting frame number 2 starting with the sequence of 2 because the receiver has already correctly received frames 0 and frames 1 and now the receiver wants the sender to send acknowledgement uh, receiver wants the sender to send frames starting from sequence 2 so when the sender receives this acknowledgement the sender also shifts its window and here also the sender can now be allowed to send the next two frames because these frames have been correctly acknowledged now in this scenario let's say the sender sends only a single frame this time say frame number two in this case since the receiver was expecting frame number two then it slides its window one step ahead and now these are the frame numbers that the receiver will expect to receive in future and the receiver then sends the acknowledgement back to the sender since the receiver has correctly received all frames till frame number 2 so the ACK will now have the number as 3 now when the sender receives the ACK 3 it basically understands that the receiver has correctly received the last frame which had the number 2 that is why it incremented that number by 1 and sent me the acknowledgement so here the sender had correctly received the last frame which was frame number 1 so 1 plus 1 is the sequence number assigned to the acknowledgement here the sender sent frame number 2 2 plus 1 is act 3 so 3 is obtained by 2 plus 1 this 2 was obtained by 1 plus 1 okay so in this scenario the sender again slides its window and now the sender is allowed to send the frames that are present in this particular window because all the previous three frames have been correctly acknowledged okay so this was about sliding window protocol now there are two main categories of sliding window protocol first one is go back n a r q go back n a r q and the second category is selective repeat a r q now in this case arq basically stands for automatic repeat request so automatic repeat request means that once 
a sender or a receiver encounters an error there is an automatic retransmission of the frames that have been garbled or lost okay and now the main difference between go back n and selective repeat is that whenever an error occurs the go back n protocol sends all the frames that are present in the current window no matter how many frames have been garbled but selective repeat will only send that particular frame that was incorrectly received or that was lost during transmission so we will see the details of each of them in the coming classes that's all for today's video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam